Hey guys, welcome to the final chaos of the Chaos Era, Trey Chaos. This fight's really annoying, and it's really hard. So, let's just get right into it. Those are my Kefka Spears, Kefka Arts. Just leave it up for just a little bit longer. Zack Spears. Zack Arts. And then Alphano Arts. I don't recall if I did his board passives. I didn't. Okay, let me just... Alright, let's... That all set up. Okay. So I failed this once already, and I probably failed it because I didn't put his uh, passives on. Always check to make sure your passives are on before you start. See, I didn't. I didn't do this uh, pa uh, Alex passives either. Kefka's good, right? The only reason I feel is because I brought RNA up friend. It just wasn't enough. Uh, Elnar's friend is really good. Let's see what arts this one is rocking. Really good arts. Okay. We're set. So, first wave, I'm, I'm going to try not to use any trines. But I'm also not going to be as conservative as I was in my first attempt. Because that obviously got me killed. So, as we get into this, I'm just going to talk uh, through why everyone is here, and also why this chaos is so difficult. Got Kefka here, because he has... my Kefka has two different uh, poison effects that the boss cannot counter. He has a sap on Senior Clown, and he also has a sap on Ferris' Spear. Alphano is also here because he heals. He does, he provides, I believe it's an 80% damage up. Yes, it's not. A party wave, 80% damage up to the... Which is fantastic. He also has an Aura Poison, even though his normal poison is resisted. His Aura Poison isn't. Which is absolutely fantastic. And again, poison, healing, battery. It's really good. Uh, Kafka also has 60% uh, speed down, which the boss can't resist. Now, some of you may be wondering, the boss breaks on all its plus players, and that's why you're bringing Zack. We have several reasons to bring Zack. Uh, largely because we're bringing Alpha now, and they have a lot of, uh, and if Zack wasn't here, they'd be targeting Alpha now all the time, and I just can't have that. Because if they break Alpha now, we're screwed. Have brings up. Let's start doing some real damage. Alright, so I think we're gonna meteor with Kefka. Yeah, I think meteoring here would be a good move. So when Kafka's next turn comes up, he will get he will get another sap, and he'll also get uh, summon moonstone, battery up Kafka, so his HP plus does more damage. Zack's next turn is going to suck, because they're going to buff before Kefka gets his next 
a second because uh, Zach's going before Kefi gets his next turn, which is not great, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Zach's probably not going to break. Nope. That's fine, because we got saps. so we can start doing some more damage. And we gotta rush Assault because we need Zach's buffs back on. I need to check what they have on right now. And it doesn't matter what they have on because off when I was about to get rid of it with Poison. Again, that sucks. I'm gonna chain slash because I need a uh, Zach's initial, uh, not initial brave, turn rate up. I need turn rate up on at all times. off in just a second so we can keep doing damage <sighs> his ex should come up next turn right no light of judgment with the assumption that apocalypse will be up up now I think so we can start off the next wave with it up and do some good damage okay let's use the rough wave they have Kefka's Havoc Wing mechanic where regardless of what your brave is regardless of whether they hit or miss you're getting broken They also have high turn rate skills. They can also cleanse themselves with buffs, uh, debuffs. Also, you only have 75 turns to do this fight. This is the real issue of why this fight is so hard. Beating this fight in 75 turns is a nightmare if you're not using things like um, El Narsh or Keys or Charlotta. Now, I have all those characters sans uh, El Narsh. But that's what makes this fight difficult. Nothing else. Also, I'm gonna get Black Carbuncle up right away. Need up now. Because we need to do as much damage as we can. And I'm gonna wait for them to target all, and then I'm gonna switch out Kefka for Yeltnarsh. Because he'll be serving similar functions to Kafka. Uh, Kafka doesn't care if he gets it targeted, because it doesn't matter. I 
because he's going to sap them beyond a break range. But it turned out alright anyway, because that came up, turn came up before B. Alright, so, doesn't matter. So, while Red Ore is up, all there is extra plus. So, regardless of what it decides to do, it's gonna break Zack, and I can't stop it from doing that. Even if I put Trina up, they're going to break Zack. That is going to happen. I cannot stop it. the light of judgment because I need my speed down back up. And it does some good damage. Alright. As much as I want to get Sax buffs back on, Apocalypse damage is mandatory. We need to do as much damage as we can. We can rush assault next turn. Uh, I'm going to energy drain here. And then I'm going to HP plus, and then Carbuncle, and then that should bring skills back up. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I, I want you blinded. You're still going to break me, but I just want you blinded. Obsidian, and we'll skill one, and that should bring our EX back up. Kefka, all right, we got to rush assault attack to get his boss back on. Oh, this damage is not good. So we're going to have a wing A, because I think that's the one with less health. I mean, with more health. Ugh, this fight, man, this fight. It's a nightmare. Right, I'm gonna try it again. Some good damage. Uh, I'm gonna try today, because I think that one has more health, but I can't tell. All right, I'm gonna have HP plus just this once because I think Zax EX is going to come up regardless. And I'll give me another use of ZX. And we're going to Meteor Plus here. <sighs> that hurts. I think Blue is the high turn right one. I should have used Trine, because yellow's high turn, right? We got several different steps going off, so we should be okay. 
I'm gonna chain slash A because my boss is about to go off. Are you just not gonna target all anytime soon? Okay, now is the perfect time to summon Yeltnarsh. So we are going to phase shift. And then Vortex Plus. And then we're gonna just Obsidian A. Whew, okay. Cannot target. So, Omega Jab one. Start doing some good damage. Sin. I'm so nervous because I don't want to have to do this again. A very clearly has more health at this point, I think. It's very difficult to tell. So, oh, apocalypse. Let's do this. Let's just go for it. We need to refresh, refresh buffs anyway. And then a yell. This will build up uh, yell Narsh Brave damage. I don't remember what I was about to do with Alpha now. Yeah, I should have Brave Attack with Alpha now. That's fine. Uh, Omega Javelin, you. You both have Terra on, right? <sighs> Crap. We should be okay. Vortex Plus. Get Terra back on. This is how to try to turn right. Alright, keep targeting A.
Vortex. Back up again. So we're gonna do a lot of damage. Alright. Oh, Marsh is done. I'm gonna get Kafka back in. Alright. Alright, time to go into the summon. Start doing some damage. Some real damage we're trying. Here on to the end, we just keep mash rush assault. Okay, shining obsidian. some good damage. And then I'll get a Havoc Wing back up. Apocalypse. be gone, I'm sorry. Later. <laughs> 